today I will be teaching you how to solve the Rubik's Cube, something that has frustrated people for generations, and its little uh, brother, the Pocket Cube, otherwise known as a 2x2. Two two. Let's get into it! Before we start, we need to learn something called an algorithm. An algorithm is essentially a pattern that will get uh, something done on the cube. The first, the one that we're going to be learning for now is it goes like this. Up, clockwise, down, counterclockwise. And then you should practice this repeatedly before you start. Up, clockwise, down, counterclockwise. And then you, and the cool thing about an algorithm that I want to show you is that if you do them right, they will always lead back to the beginning of the cube. All right, now let's get into the solve. Now time for the first step. We have to solve the white face. Now, there are a lot of different methods for doing this, but the one that I like to do the most is by solving the side of the cube. Now, if you don't know how to do this, essentially you just want to solve as much as the cube as you can. So we have two here. And, and solve as much as you can before you like just can't no more. Now, if you know how to solve a face, this is great. You can just do that. But then you want to take different parts of the cube and put them where they are. So you're going to have to twist it, bring this down, twist it back, and bring it back up. And then you can repeat this. Sometimes you have to get a little bit more complicated like that. But after a while, you get the hang of it. Not there. Find where it is. And then you have solved white. The next step is making the side corners of white match. Now what you want to do is make sure that the sides are matching to where the rest of them are. So we have a green here. We need to match it to the rest of the green right here. So we're gonna essentially do something like we just did. Release this white, turn to where we need it to go right here, turn it away and turn it back in. And then we have this empty white where we will put right here. And it's a little bit closer to being solved. For example, right here, we have red. This needs orange, it's perfect. Put it down, make it go that way. Turn this face up, turn it back down. Put this piece here, turn this back down so that we can bring this piece right back here. And that, my friends, is the solved step. The next part is we need to match the centers with the bottom. So this isn't too hard. All you need to do is turn it until they match. And this will match on all sides because the centers will not change no matter how you turn the cube. The next part is a little bit more tricky. Find a piece that is right here that does not have yellow on it. So we can't use this one because it has yellow on it, but we can use this one because it does not have yellow on it. Then you want to match it with the rest of it. Like that. Then you need to look at the top of that piece. This is red. Now you'll notice with this color, there will be two surrounding. Red, orange, and depending on where you go, will be uh, different colors. Now you need to look at the top. That will dictate where you need to go. So this needs to go to red. So here's what you do. You push it away, and then you begin our algorithm. Up, clockwise, down, counterclockwise. Now notice at the bottom, our white is unsolved. But this is okay. All we need to do is do that thing that we did before and make it so that we can give that back. Bring it down, and these two will be connected. You can repeat with all the other um, scores. 
Now you might be come into a situation where you have a piece that's in the right spot or maybe a piece that's not in the right spot or, or it's just not in the right spot or it's oriented the wrong way. Here's how you do. You have to pretend like the ones at the top are what you're trying to solve. So you push the top away, do the algorithm. Uh, I did it wrong, but that's okay for now since it's just a reverse. And then put that down. Apologies for the car. There it goes. Um, and now we have that back there and the piece that we tried to get was free, is free now. And then we just do what we have been doing. And uh, that one is now oriented the right way. You have now most likely came to a spot if you follow the steps right, where you have all of the second layer done along with white solve. Now we need to get the top. If you have only one in the middle and none of the corners, that's okay. You just do the algorithm from before. Uh, well, just you actually just do the algorithm that I'm about to show you. But if you come to a point where it's like this or something, and where there's three like that or even more, like there might be one there. But if there's a general shape like this, you want to turn it to right there. Then you want to bring up a white piece there. And then you want to do our algorithm. Up, clockwise, down, counterclockwise, and put the white piece down. Then eventually you'll get a straight line. Keep it like this. Do not put it like that. Do not. Keep it like this. Do the same thing. Bring that up. Put it down. And this will not normally be solved, but uh, normally you have some variation of the cross right there. All right, now the next step is to get the centers to where they match. So we have green right there, and we have red right there, but uh-oh, there's blue right there and orange right there. How do we solve it? Now you might come with all three, four of them solved, um, but what you do is that you take two, if you don't have them all solved, you take two that are, and you place them in the back right corner. So you have one right here and one in the back. And then you push up, push that way, pull this part down, go back up here, put it so that the two pieces are right here, bring that up, Bring that down. And then this is not a solve, but you just need to usually turn it a little bit and all of them will be. Now the next step is to make sure that the corners of uh, yellow will eventually be solved. Now, now this step is preparing you for the last step. What you do right here is you see, does my corner have all three of the colors that it matches, which will always be yellow green oh not green or the two colors that are right here that the corner is connected to that will mean that it's okay it doesn't have to be up here and all be perfectly solved it just has to be in a position where it can be solved now you'll either have one two three or if you're lucky all four and will be solved um pieces like that now you now as you can see i have none that are like that. So in my scenario, you just take one, uh, just pick one, and you do this algorithm. Move it that way, move one up like that, move it back, put this up, move that back so that now this is all solved, put that down, move it back so that that can be solved, and put that down. Now let's see if I have any more solved. Oh yes, I have this one solved. So as soon as you get one that is has all three, so yellow, red, and green, then you can use that one to go on and do the algorithm again. So uh, you keep on going until they're all solved. That's one. 
two, three. I'll let go on that one, just solve. So now we can move on to the final step. You take one of the yellow pieces and you put it in a corner of any of them. Now you're going to only want to pay attention to your yellow piece. We're gonna do the algorithm until the yellow piece gets down there, down there. So we go, we do our algorithm. Until it goes back down. Remember to finish the algorithm here. If you don't, uh, the cube will not solve. And then you're gonna turn to the next yellow piece that'll be right there or right there. And then you keep on doing it. Turn to the next one and do that one. Now you may have like two you need to do. Maybe you need to do one. Maybe, I don't know how many you need to do. Right now I need to do three. And that's how many I do. Now you will have varying different numbers of corners you need to solve. But if you follow the steps, you will always be back to the solve cube. Now the pocket cube is often considered a lot easier than the normal one. And that's because it is. The other one has multiple steps, but this one only really has three, kind of four. Um, so let me show you how to do that. First, I need to scramble it. All right, now that it's scrambled, uh, you solve white, just like you did before. Although if that one was kind of hard, uh, this one should be pretty darn easy. You only need to do four. And that's the first step, just like that. Then the next step, you're gonna have to connect the sides like we did before, which is also easier because instead of having three on each side, you only have two. See, look, I already got all four. The next step is actually takes kind of long depending on how lucky you are. You're going to need to do the step where we did this algorithm. Remember that one? And this will help you um, get all the corners in place. So what you do is that you take any piece and just orient it to where it's right. So I'll just take the solved one. It doesn't have to be solved. It just needs to be like where it needs to be. So like this one's where it needs to be. It does, it's not solved, but it needs to be, it's there. <laughs> and uh, you just keep on doing the algorithm until it, you will solve the whole thing. I mean, you get all of them in the right space. So we have this one in the right space, that one in the right space. Um, that one's not in the right space. That one is in the right space. Did the algorithm again. That one's not in the right space. That one's not in the right space. Now this one takes quite a bit. So if you don't get it after like one or two tries, I won't, I don't say normally give up, I swear, but <laughs> you're gonna wanna try and find a different one. So we'll find this one. That's where it goes. Do this algorithm. Mm, that one does not, oh, well, that's not where it goes. Do it again. That's, that's where it needs to be. That's, that's not where it needs to be. No, yes, no, okay. So we're gonna find a different one. That's where it needs to be. Sorry. Let's see, that's where it needs to be. That's not. Yeah, this step can take pretty long depending on how lucky you are. Uh, eventually it'll all go, though. So. Stop mop. Very long. 
Okay, finally, we have it. All right, now we're on the final step. It's just like we do normally. So we do the exact same algorithm and we do the exact same. So we have this right here. Remember, as long as it's in the bottom uh, right corner, it's fine, so we do the algorithm. Up, clockwise, down, counterclockwise. You just do that till it goes. So it went down. And then it's solved. All right, so this is gonna be me solving the Rubik's Cube. Keep in mind, this might be a little bit faster than normal because I'm using what they call speed cube. It turns a lot faster. Um, but yeah, let's start. So, um, keep in mind, that was a lot faster than normal since, uh, if you recall earlier in the video, I said that if you get really lucky and have all four of the corners solved while you're doing um, the method where you're doing, wait, dang it, when you're doing, um, so keep in mind earlier in the video, I said if you get like really lucky while you're doing that step, um, you can actually solve the cube just on that step by pure luck. So I actually got to skip um, a whole step. So hence the very fast time, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you later.